We are now going to give the floor to Mrs. Peng Gut Sontari to proceed with her remaining of the statement. Mrs. Peng Gut Sontari, thank you, Mr. President. I may now proceed with my statement. I have now come to section number five in relation to my research about the information of my father and about my journey to S21. There has been conferences that were held in relation to the Khmer Rouge. And whenever there was such an event, I and my husband would be attending such conferences. One day, an author requested that I gave him the interview in relation to the story of the Khmer Rouge. It was on the third. It was in March, which marked the. Women International Day, and the moment really made me want to recall the past and to share with the author. Later on, we learned of the information about the establishment of the hybrid court, and we conducted further research, and then we met some journalists, those who specialized in the studies of the Khmer Rouge. Little by little, we had collected some documents, both in, from Cambodia and in France, and uh, this information can be put together to establish the life story of my father during the Khmer Rouge regime. We have already included this into the case file, including uh, the date when my father came back to Cambodia on the 25th of December 1975. He departed Paris on uh, the 23rd of December 1975 through the, chi uh, the, the, the flight uh, through China. And he was uh, on the board with other scholars from France uh, to Cambodia. He was convinced by the speeches of some senior leaders of the Khmer Rouge at that time. At, actually, uh, previously, he had uh, never trusted uh, the senior leaders of Khmer Rouge because uh, through his letters, uh, we can read that he said uh, he had a huge, uh, a large family in the country and that he could not leave uh, the country behind uh, to live their life based on their fate, so he had to be with them, and uh, without being close to the family, it would be considered as a kind of crime already for him. My father continued uh, saying that uh, he maintained his firm position that uh, he had to come back to Cambodia and to live uh, with uh, the whole family, and he dare all the their challenge all the devils in Cambodia as long as he could be returning back to Cambodia and meeting the whole family again. When he immediately came, uh, arrived at Cambodia, 
like other people, they were transported to K-15, and then to K-6 Talay and Bang Trabak, like Ong Thong Hương stated in his book, Zhugui Utmeru, in French, along with other people. On the 12th of December 1976, according to the decision by Anka, he was transferred by the members of the security office to S21, which was the prison. Uh, no detainee could come out alive. He was uh, sent uh, to the Daigraham location. Uh, other people, correction, other people Certains were sent to Daigraham location while my, brother, my father rouge. was sent to S21 instead, the place where death is inevitable. Le lieu de la mort certaine. So my research went further to find out who actually sent uh, my father to S21 and uh, the reason why he returned from France even Pourquoi he was France, convinced by or persuaded by other people to work in France. The answer could be found in other letters he sent to some of his friends uh, in Toulouse University. My father wrote in that letter that uh, I met uh, several Khmer friends. Every one of them advised me to join the FU and K, and I followed the idea, and I wrote a letter to agree that I would be part of the group and I had no other choice. Another le letter on the, uh, in 1975 uh, in which he said that uh, he did not expect Dans what would happen in Cambodia. However, he was obliged ceci, cite, uh, to return to Cambodia. Nous, and uh, he was expecting to meet the family whom he missed uh, for the last nine months. And the reunion with the family was uh, uh, a kind of uh, obligation for him that led to his arrest, of course, after all. Why was he detained at S21? The documents I obtained at S21 prove that uh, my father was registered on the 12th of December. 1975, and the document 0018-8857, uh, with the signature of source C. Document 0018 en Khmer. The President, uh, Ms. Dutsinski, you may proceed. Mr. President, in the English translation, I got a very, uh, uh, I heard on 12 uh, December 1975. This is not correct and was not said by Ms. Pung Suntari. And it must be, maybe it's a translation problem, it is the 12th of December, 1976. The President, uh, Madame Pengut Suntari, could you please proceed uh, with your statement? I would like to proceed. Uh, Susti said that uh, the date uh, was not correct because it stated the 12th of December 1975, but the date was not correct. Uh, it was the 12th of December 1976 because my father came to Phnom Penh in 1975, the 25th of December, because at that time, the 12th of December 1975, he was still in Paris. 
How long had he been detained at S21? The confession of my father is not found. However, it is no doubt at all uh, that he could have uh, written such confession because he was detained almost uh, for almost seven months at S21, and he was the one who was detained uh, that long, and that he must have written Personne some confession. Normally, in some confessions uh, for, uh, of other prisoners, prisoners would be detained for up to two en months général, uh, before they were smashed. In 1981, my sister got, uh, my brother got a written biography found at the former Yen Ministry of for an affair, which later on turned to be the cabinet of ministers for the current government. In that uh, uh, biography, my father stated that he requested that he would like to meet the family he missed uh, for the last nine months. And uh, he made uh, such writing when he came to Cambodia because he left uh, for Gen uh, Geneva in 1975. Uh, However, this biography was not obtained from S21. The DC CAM provided uh, with me the four-page document uh, uh, containing the testimony, uh, the writing of Mom Nai. And we got another piece of document of Ng which is in the form of the preliminary investigation paperwork uh, interrogated by Mom Nai. But he did not make it clear about the death of my father because he was afraid that he would too be arrested and as warned. And such a warning to him is a kind of uh, obstacle to uh, reveal the truth and to stop a person who has to reveal the truth to the nation because the nation Ainsi, had experienced the établie. very deep sorrow and tragedy during the, the Khmer Rouge regime. Malgré l'histoire tragique de cette I know that on the 6th of July 1977, my father could still be living because according to the document obtained concerning the well-being of the detainee, and in that record, I could prove that uh, he, could, uh, uh, he was still alive. And the document uh, indicates uh, his well-being, uh, his numbness, his uh, fatigue health and uh, his uh, ainsi de heart, uh, uh, his problem with uh, breathing. So the person or the detainee like my father and uh, concerning his uh, medical well, uh, checkup, uh, the follow-up of such medical checkup would be uh, presented uh, and then reported to the accused. And the accused could have been well familiar with this. So since he was the very firm and meticulous person, so what else could he do with the report uh, from uh, uh, about my father? Later on, I never found the name of my father in the record of the uh, medics. And uh, Mr. Kangek Eo, alias Doik, uh, he was a professor, so he could be the person with good sense of analysis. And uh, he knew that uh, my father was detained uh, for some period of times, but we don't uh, know how long he had uh, been detained because the accused uh, did not make it clear. I would like to move to the next chapter, which is uh, section number six. What I am expecting. 
Since the trial chamber started its first hearing on the 30th of March 2009, I had been in the hearings to observe the proceedings. I have heard the testimonies of experts, witnesses, the testimony of the accused, the lies, the accusers, and I could see that the accused tried to evade uh, to respond to some particular questions. Until now, I have not yet obtained the right information in relation to my father's fate. Mom Nai, the person who wrote uh, the confession of uh, detainee Peng Ton, and Susti also uh, recalled having registered uh, Peng Ton in the list uh, in the order of uh, number 56. But still, everyone who was involved uh, in the process did not uh, know much about the suffering of my father, although they had uh, been quite familiar with it, especially Ma Nai was the person who knew it very well. Prakon Pimpui Nyepo told me that uh, only the accused who could uh, shed a light on how my father could have died because he was the chairperson at uh, S21. S21 was used as a smashing S21 tool and uh, actually as the accused uh, would be the very loyal executioner for the upper echelon or the, the Khmer Rouge apparatus. He even asked Mom Nai to tell me and my mother and, and the court uh, where my, husband, uh, my father could have been uh, executed. However, we still haven't got uh, the information. I would like to reiterate that uh, the accused was one, the math teacher. So he is the person who is meticulous, who has the sense of a good sense of analysis. However, before the court, many times the accused has to lie to the court. At the beginning, uh, there was some kind of argument that uh, uh, Professor Peng Ton had uh, never been detained at S21. However, later the accused uh, said uh, that uh, my teacher had to suffer the tragedy and the uh, barbaric acts at S21. And in the same document uh, written by Deutsch, uh, he said uh, there was no tortures, uh, preliminary torture during the preliminary interrogation because he knew Mom Nai very well that he could never resort uh, to torturing the detainee. And the accused uh, had uh, meals with Hall, and he knew very well that Ho was a very cruel person, but a very loyal person to the accused, the person who was very obedient. Totalement soumis à son chef et maître. So it is true to say that uh, Doj ordered Ho to, to do whatever Ho would like to do on my father. Doj said openly in the court that he was the person tribunal, uh, like a shepherd and that he also was a very absolute tool for the security purpose during the regime.
and my father's fate was in the hands of Deutsch. So Deutsch knew very well about how he should have been smashed or could have been smashed. Mr. President, I would like to put three questions through the bench to the accused. Before putting such questions, may I proceed further with the rest of my statement with your honors permission? I have not only r received the responses in relation to the activities or uh, uh, the things that committed during the regime. I obtained this information from the accused because the accused said that he was or he is willing to cooperate uh, with the court and, and the, the parties to the proceeding. And I have been here in the court uh, for the last few months. However, I can see how tricky this person is. I did not believe that the accused uh, exhausts his best uh, to ascertain the truth. He's only trying to evade uh, uh, the crimes he committed. Uh, cherche en vérité à ne pas répondre des crimes qu'il a commis. The accused uh, knows, of course, the questions uh, and the responses to my questions. So if he will not be able to respond to the question, how could he become savoir. the chairman Alors, of uh, S21, he was a, one a chairman. A chairman of S21 was not a kind of coward. He would be a very brave person to respond to all the questions. Uh, if the accused still does not want to respond to these uh, questions, then I think it is better that the accused should never ever say that he is remorseful. I'm not here to seek revenge. I'm here to seek the truth. However, if the accused refuses to answer to my questions, uh, then I am not ready to uh, open opportunity for any forgiveness uh, that uh, the accused uh, might ask, or ask for. I would wish that uh, the accused live longer enough so that uh, he will witness uh, this, this uh, suffering and also to look back to the deep uh, long past uh, and also to see the acts he has one committed uh, toward uh, my grand, uh, my father, and uh, of course this has affected uh, the whole family, including the grandchildren of my father. Mr. President, uh, before I conclude uh, my statement, I would like to make it clear to the whole nation that uh, the tragedy, the miserable conditions we have suffered uh, during the Khmer Rouge regime has nothing to do with the theory of karma. I am Buddhist, but the Khmer Rouge regime, the blood uh, shed uh, regime uh, was based on the idea of killing people and by relying on the theory of Buddhism in, the, in term of karma was just like a facade for a person to just cover up their crimes. I would like to also talk to all young people in the country that uh, although beside this kind of strategy, uh, this suffering, dire, then there still be a person who, is, uh, who has good wisdom uh, to, uh, to struggle and to hold on with love. And my father, Mr. Peng Ton, was among Pung the person who actually was brave and uh, uh, a person with wisdom, although he had to endure the very difficult time 
during the Khmer Rouge regime. However, they could Même kill si him, but they could never épreuves, smash his wisdom and conscience. I would like to conclude uh, my statement now, and I would like to Je proceed with the questions to the accused uh, with Mr. President's leave. The President, uh, Madame Pankot Sonteri, you are allowed to put questions to the accused, and the accused be prepared to respond to the questions. As we already made it clear, although the uh, questions should be uh, or shall be put through the president of the chamber, then the president can just uh, convey the, the questions to the accused, or he may repeat uh, the questions in order to make sure that the accused uh, can really follow the questions. So the floor is yours. Yes, I'm up. Civil Party, thank you, Mr. President. I would put the questions through you, Mr. President. First question, who made the decision to kill my father on the 6th of July 1977, or a little bit after that? At S21, still the prisoners were not allowed to die naturally, especially in the case of my father. The President, excuse Monsieur Can you respond to this question? À cette question? The accused, Mr. Accusé. President. Monsieur le Président. Upon my analysis of the Sur several documents, de plusieurs documents, and that I have already reported to the civil party the old what I can do. La partie civile, and if I was I am asked who made the decision si for the killing, I have no documents to base my response on, so I cannot really fulfill the anxiety to know this fact. Although I have my ah, deep respect for my former professor, I do not have any appropriate answer to respond at this time. Uh, vis -vis de cet and that is pas the truth. I still pour leur la did not know the details that my professor was detained at S21 at the time, and this is my Je response. La détention the president, de, uh, the civil party, you can now ask your second dire. question. Le président. Question number two. What types of tortures were inflicted upon question. my father, the person who had a progressive idea, who based the judgment on justice and who had dignity, and who held the ideology of democracy with this completely contradicting to the policy of the Khmer Rouge. Khmer Rouge. The president, the accused, you already heard the question, so you Monsieur can respond. You can hear the question. You can respond. The accused. L'accusé. Mr. President, Monsieur regarding the tortures committed upon my professor, I still believe that que mon a, the, que mon my analysis on those documents that were given to me, sur la base de des I still stand that he was not tortured during his interrogation. Pas my shock for les the fate of my Professor was on a different matter because I, on, I did not Mon know that he was detained as anyone. I only thought of Chao Seng and another person. But I believe Mon Nai did not torture him. He rarely resorted to torture. And 
Believe me, the confession, that type of confession was not a result of torture. Also, I would like to take this opportunity to tell Madame Pungot Sotari, the eldest daughter of my professor, that the fact that I do not know this matter, as you can examine all those documents sent from SN1 to the upper echelon. I hate all my annotations on those. And if I knew, there would be my annotation on that document, and I would seek answers or clarification from Brother Mom Nye. I very well know the situation of the pedagogical institution. And I knew that Institute, Pol Pot le realized that the professor was Pot working in that institute and Hu Jun was the chairman of the association and my man was the professor at that school. Actually, he was the rector of that university. And Su Hnu, alias Chu, was also a senior professor at that professor de haut rang at that school and later on he was the secretary of sector 24 so son sen clearly ordered me to monitor the activity of sono alias chu and through my monitoring activities i learned that he was not implicated in that matter so i the fact il n'a pas été impliqué dans ces that if i knew the professor was detained there. Si su que le if I knew that, and the interrogation would then focus on all these links. But as I said, I did not know he was detained. That's why there was no annotation that I made on the confession. And this is my response. De ses aveux ne the president, mes the civil party, you may proceed with your next question. Le président, je vous invite, Madame question la partie civile, à poser three, votre troisième question. Last question. La Who made a decision to transfer him to S21? It was said that S21 truck came to take him from Saddam Tko. That is Saddam the statement of Jan Diano and Ham Heng Kheng that he was taken from Saddam Tko. At that time, doute sur ce point. the president, Le president, the accused, can you Monsieur respond to that question? À cette question? The accused. L'accusé. The arrest of my professor to S21, or whether he was sent from Montreal or not, I did not have the knowledge of that. S21 vehicle did not bear any plate number, although I do not deny the testimony of Hayham Kane and the other person. And I knew this person, Hayham Kane, he used to be my former mate. But the, the background and the history of S21, as we all know, there were two chairmen. Nat was from the establishment on the 15th of August 75 until the until March 1976 when he was removed and replaced by me. So I believed all the documents that, bra that Brother Mom and I had probably was done during that period if, it, if those documents do not bear my annotation. And I think it was done also based on the order of the Standing Committee. Everything was decided by the Standing Committee. And this F21 was under the direct order of that Standing Committee. And, of course, we, as we want, have people who were ordered or assigned to make the arrest. But it is hard to know who actually made the decision. 
uh, aux arrestations, to, il est difficile de savoir qui a pris It is possible that S21 vehicle was used to transport him during the time of the chairmanship of NAT. And at that time, I was only the deputy chairman of S21. This is my response. With my respect, Mr. President. Directeur adjoint de S21. Voilà ma réponse, Monsieur le Président. The President. The President. The chamber would like now to give the floor to Civil Party Council Stutzinski to put questions to this Civil Party. Pour lui permettre de poser des questions qu'elle souhaite à la partie civile. The President, hold on, Stutzinski. Un instant, Maître Stutzinski. Judge Lavergne, you may take the floor. Monsieur le Juge Lavergne, vous souhaitez intervenir. Je vous en prie. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Ce matin, euh, Madame, vous This avez morning, montré un certain nombre uh, de Madam, photos. Est-ce que vous pourriez pictures? nous donner la liste uh, en nous indiquant ce que représentaient ces documents et ceci afin de, que ceci puisse être enregistré aux notes so d'audience Nous n'aurons pas de traces uh, de ce que vous avez pu uh, nous présenter. Uh, notes, but otherwise, we will have no trace of what you submitted today. Je ne demande pas à ce que vous nous les représentiez. Je ne demande pas à ce que vous nous les représentiez. Je ne demande pas à ce que vous nous les représentiez. Je ne demande pas à ce que vous nous les représentiez. Je ne demande pas à ce que vous nous les représentiez. Thank you, Your Honor. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Juge. The photo, the ID photos of the two people. They are my parents. Les photos hein, qui représentent donc les deux personnes. Eh bien, il s'agit là de mes parents. And another photograph. Une autre the photographie. The seven children. That's um, my siblings and myself. Sur cette photographie, il y a toute la and fratrie des sept photo. enfants. Dont Je faisais partie. It's a photo photograph of my parents while they visiting while they were on a visit to France. And another photo was my the photo of my father during a summer after the fall of Phnom Penh. It was taken a few months. After he returned in '75, and another photograph was a wedding invitation of my parents. Il s'agit là d'une invitation de mariage de mes parents. And the last photo was the photo of my father at the S21 detention center. Et sur une autre photo, on peut y voir une photo de mon père alors qu'il était détenu à S21. The President, the President, Civil Party Council for Group Two, Mr. Sinski, you can put your question, I mean additional question, to the Civil Party if you have any. Vos questions complémentaires à la partie civile. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Sinski, je vous remercie, Mr. President. Only one question after. I heard the responses of the accused to your question, and therefore um, I only want to let you clarify um, what your research, what is the result of your research, and the date when your father was 
entered to its lane as 21. And maybe you could answer to my question uh, in this way that who had at the time when your father entered S21, who was the chairman of S21? Because after the responses, I have the impression that there is some confusion and therefore my question, who was the chairman at the time and as it is agreed upon by the accused and everybody here in the question. Civil Party, thank you for the question, uh, Madam Counsel. I was also surprised when the accused said that the arrest of my father to S21 was not under his chairmanship. In fact, he became the chairman of S21 in March 1976. Therefore, the arrest of my father on the 12th of December 1976 was, in fact, unfold under the leadership of this accused Kangakir. Thank you for this response. And maybe later on, the accused could, after this clarification, um, which he knows very well, of course, um, give further response to your questions. Uh, I have no further questions, and um, I would like to thank you very much for all the efforts and uh, you have gone through and for the very moving and um, emotional uh, statement that you have given to the Chamber, to the parties, and to the Cambodian people. Thank you very much. Au peuple cambodien, je tenais à vous remercier. The President, President. Uh, Mr. Kangaye, can you stand up? Can you verify the point raised by the Council and the Civil Party? As you have just heard, the Civil Party just wants to get clarification regarding the detention of her father, and it is true that he was detained and killed there. So there are some issues that need to be clarified. According to the information she received, her father entered at 21 on the 12th December 1976. And you, in your response, and as previously you repeatedly said, when it it happened during the time that you were the deputy chairman, and you only became chairman from March 1976, when Nat was removed by the upper echelon. On March 1976, so the date of the arrest of Pompton on the 12th of December 1976, is not in line with what you said in your analysis of the S21 documents. And as you said, the documents do not bear your annotation. So you can see the contradictory views regarding his arrest and the date of you becoming a chairman of S21. Can you verify this matter? Pouvez-vous nous apporter des clarifications sur ce point? The accused, Mr. President. L'accusé, Monsieur le Président. This is going to be a bit long. Ma réponse risque d'être un peu like longue. I also would like to clarify the matter to Madame and to her mother. Je souhaite préciser ce qu'il en est vis-à-vis -vis de that before 1970, I 
had the feeling of being afraid and respected Shh. of the six persons. Shh. One was Junat. He died in 1966. And another person was also a monk. He also died in 1966. And the third person that I respected was Rodkut, the doctor, whom I regard as my senior. And all the students at Mang Residence Number no. Three always respect the previous generation, and he was very well respected by the most. And Kamrat Pon, who was spit, who was with me, he was also a former student of Mang Residence Number no. Three. So Dr. Rodkut was the third person that I respected the most. And Chao Seng was the four, fourth person that I respected the most. It's because he changed the curriculum of 1958, and he confronted with Lunol, and he said that he only fight with a pen, not a gun. And the third point of quality of Chao Seng was that he established a pedagogical institution, which later on I entered and studied there. So he was the fourth person. And next, Kiyokuma, the fifth person. In 1963-64, the demonstrations were everywhere at the Sisawat school, and he defended the progressive students who rebelled at the time. Il défendait les progrès et les progrès pédagogiques à l'Institut de pédagogie, myself, moi including Jumnaret, ainsi que Jumnaret, and the rest, et le reste, des, des personnes, were mistreated by Kaolun, and my professor defended us. That's why I respected my professor, because he defended us and not to let them mistreat us, the progressive people. These people. I knew, I knew that Kiyokuma was evacuated along road number four, and he was executed if he was sent to the south by Tamok. So this is the trash that I heard, and Rodgood stayed with me, and I protected him, and Chao Seng. The Communist Party of Cambodia sent him to me. I could not do anything. The best I could do was to provide him with sufficient food and proper accommodation. I regretted if I knew my professor was sent there. Of course, I would not ask for him to be spared, but he would be able to live in a better condition as my gratitude for him. Mon professeur, mais j'aurais fait en sorte qu'il puisse vivre dans des on, conditions plus décentes. Plus tard, en 1993, le VOA a son and I heard, and I was surprised. How could Ting Song, Ting Chon, became the manager of the production of that musical company? But at the military court, I was asked about Professor Pinkton. This, a Gasabot asked me, and I protested that no, he was not there. And that Ungpa took the ashes to his kind. And later on, even if Casabot now is representing me, I still maintain. I still maintain that he was not there, and I even dare him. I even challenge him to test, to have a DNA test of that ashes. But later on, when I saw his photo there, I was speechless. I could not deny anymore. And then. Hong Kong Sun Sun Tari gave me the document, then I learned his fate. And yes, there were some inconsistencies in the dates. Actually, there were three dates which are not consistent. 
qui ne sont pas cohérents. And as I said, the dates on the list of I-21 are not always accurate, toujours, as I was asked by exact, the co-investigating um, judge, Marcel Mont. So this is Marcel, regarding the Marcel inconsistency de, of the date of entry. At that time, however, I was not aware that Monnaï knew you very well and knew the bien. grandfather very well. I already learned that during the proceedings before this chamber. Nous avons so dans the fact was not yet revealed. Avant and euh, I would like to frankly la, la say that à, à all the victims et c'est ce que je voudrais répéter the, the people les victimes, that I really les gens wanted to pay my gratitude vis -vis and their condolences are three the two I already gratitude et mes condoléances sont have done that and the last remaining one was Peng Ton, that is my professor. Peng Ton était mon professeur. And of course, I do not deny that he was there. But then we, argue, we can argue or we can question more on the dates, là. which are Mais inconsistent. Une Maybe only Mom Nai is the only person, person who can actually shed light on the exact dates of his fate, nous if he is willing to do so. So please, can you preserve your own stance and try to do the research together in order to find out the truth? Alors peut-être utiliser cette and source I ici pour contribuer à la vérité. Et j'ai you make a complaint to become a civil party here is not in the nature of vengeance. Non pas à des fins And I believe vengeance. that. Ce je crois. But of course, it cannot be Mais left unanswered for all the crimes committed at S21. On doit répondre des crimes And I believe, of course, you do not come here to seek vengeance, but to seek out the truth. And we also seek out the truth. We need to find out first. So I again would appeal you to, uh, pro to proceed with your truth searching. And I myself will do my best to reveal the truth. This is my response and respect, Mr. President. C'est votre travail et c'est également euh, celui que j'entreprends. Voilà ma réponse, Monsieur le Président. Le Président. Next, the Chamber would like to give the floor to the co-prosecutors if you have questions to be put to this civil party. Si souhaite poser des questions à la partie civile. Co-prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. The prosecution do not have any question for this witness, for this civil party, correct the interpreter. La partie civile. Judge Lavange, you may proceed. Monsieur le juge Lavange, je vous en prie. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Well, thank you, Mr. President. Je viens euh, d'écouter la réponse de l'accusé à, à la question qui lui a été posée. Et, et euh, je ne suis pas sûr d'avoir très him. bien compris. And I'm not, uh, quite Il a sure été question... Une personne uh, understood everything. Chao Xiang, he, there was mention of a person uh, named Chao Xiang, and you stated, it seems to me, that that person Donc, was si sent to you. Envoyé, if you say that that person was sent to you, do you mean sent Donc, to S21? That's the first part of my question. The second uh, uh, aspect, you compris, said, but here again, I'm not sure I fully understood, that uh, you, were, uh, you, you were concerned to find decent accommodation for de him and that you also uh, tried to make sure Alors, that he would have uh, a sufficient food to eat. So I don't really understand anymore. So what are you referring to? Are you referring to detention, conditions of detention in S21? What is decent accommodation when you're in S21? And did you effectively have the power to give more food to certain detainees than was given to others? The accused. Thank you, Your Honor, for raising these questions. Chao Seng. Chao Seng. He 
received the first pedagogical degree il a, a été in Cambodia. Du premier diplôme, donc, pédagogique au and Cambodge. I said he also ce, ce made the curriculum, the 1958 curriculum for the training of teachers. Pour la formation and the National Pedagogical Institution et l'Institut pédagogique national a him. été and he fondé also confronted Lunnol as et i stated lui, and later Lundle, on comme je l'ai dit ordered his arrest and sent to S21 donné l'ordre de son arrestation et de son envoi and à S21 there was also an order il to change his name from Chao Seng to Chen Sun Elisan alias Sang He was uh, he received, he got a doctoral degree in pedagogy. Et il a obtenu un doctorat and in en fact, pédagogie. yes, he was sent to S21. En fait, and after his interrogation, I ordered him to be left separately. And he was that he was given decent food and accommodation. I did not know where he his accommodation was because I did not go and look. And a few days ago, I also stated that. Jours, Occasionally, I went to visit Chao Seng, and on one occasion, he talked about the situation de during the CNU regime, le contexte and de I mentioned that before this chamber, sous le régime de Cianu, and that I supported Chao Seng, and it Seng. is my idea of paying my gratitude to Et him. Je and for my professor, à... I did not know of his Et detention pour le or that he was suffering from insufficient pas. food or the living condition. That's why I was moved after hearing that. And this is my response, Mr. President and Your Honor. And if you have more questions regarding this matter, I am ready to answer. Si vous avez d'autres questions à me poser sur ce point, je me tiens à votre disposition. Judge what happened to Chao Singh? Response, Your Honor, I already reiterated uh, in several Monsieur occasions je, that uh, anyone who was sent to S21 was regarded as enemy. Enemy had to be smashed. Later on, Uncle Noon, I want to say it straight, knew that I would like to keep Chao Singh. That's why he ordered uh, immediately that Chao Singh was smashed. And Ho was ordered uh, by Na to smash Chao Singh. So Chao Singh was killed. Rod Kut was killed. And I am not quite sure how I can really say anything else about uh, uh, my professor Peng Ton because I did not know whether he was very sick and died of sickness or he was executed. But he died, Donc, selon Judge ce que nous dit, c'est Nat qui, en définitive, a ordonné l'exécution de Chao Seng. In the end, who ordered Chao Seng's execution, or was it you? Response, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Chao Levent, because I made it rather unclear. Nat order that uh, Rod Good who arrived uh, recently to be smashed. But I received the order from Nguyen Chia to smash Chao Seng.
Je n'ai pas d'autres questions, Monsieur le Président. I have no further questions, Mr. President, says Judge Lavergne. The President, uh, the accused may be seated now. L'accusé peut se rasseoir. The Chamber would like to give the opportunity to the Defense Council to put questions défense, to the civil party if they would wish to do so. Ms. Canizales, the Defense has civil, no Président. questions to put to the civil party, Mr. President. The President. Next, uh, the Chamber would like to give the floor la to the accused to make his observations in relation to the statement uh, made uh, by Madame Um Sun Ti and Peng Gut Sun Tari. Please be reminded uh, that this is the rights for you to make your observation. However, you can exercise your right uh, to remain silent uh, if you so wish. But the floor is yours. So please respond to the statements by the two civil parties who were the family member of Peng Tan. The two depositions that we have heard of the wife and the daughter of Professor Peng Tan. The accused. The accused. I would like to make a very brief observation as follows. The statements by Madame Eum Son Ti and Peng Gut Son Tari Uh, approved in principle and uh, I know that you have not been satisfied yet because you have not obtained all the information you would wish to get and I will do my best to make sure that uh, I can be of any assistance to ascertain the truth without any denial so I will do my best to help établir les faits, je ferai de mon mieux. to respond to your request uh, to search for the information of the fate of je chercherai toute your father and your husband. Concernant Thank le you. Sort de votre époux et de votre père. Merci. The President, the proceedings to hear the statements of the civil parties M. Sun Ti and uh, Peng Gut Sun Tari Nous en avons ainsi terminé have come avec, uh, les to an end. De Madame, M. Sun Ti et Madame, Madame Peng, Peng Gut Sun Tari, you may now uh, Peng Gut, uh, be seated at the civil party reserved seats in the courtroom. Next, uh, the chamber would like uh, civil party Siang Wan Di to come to the seat reserved for the civil party before the chamber. Siang Wan Di to occupy the siège à la barre. The civil party lawyer, Ms. Stutzinski, you take the floor. Stutzinski, je vous en prie. Thank you, Mr. President. Before Merci, you start uh, with uh, the civil party, Mr. Siang Fandi, 
I only uh, seek some clarification Comment about uh, the proceeding today, because as far as I have understood, uh, the hearing will be finished at 3.30, and do you intend to make a break, or only to be orientated how far um, we can go with uh, Mr. Sien Van Di today? It would be useful for me, because that is what I uh, have learned from your statement before, uh, before the last break. Que nous puissions savoir nous-mêmes comment conduire l'audition de cette partie civile. The president. The reason that uh, the chamber would. Uh, be proceeded until 3.30 today that we are not going to take any adjournment uh, and then we will just uh, proceed from now until uh, 3.30 and then we will take the adjournment and the rest of the afternoon will be used uh, for the AV unit uh, officials to fix uh, the technical glitch. Uh, so that uh, we can actually hear the testimony uh, on, uh, based on the remote participation tomorrow. Good afternoon, Mr. Siang Wan Di. Is Siang Wan Di your name? Est-ce que Siang Wan Di est bien votre nom? Response. Yes. Oui. My name is Sien Wan Di. Je m'appelle bien Sien Wan Di. The President, uh, Mr. Sien Wan Di, can you read and write? Monsieur Sien Wan Di, est-ce que vous savez lire et écrire? Response, yes, I Réponse, can. Oui. The President, uh, how do Question. you spell your Comment family name? Comment votre nom de famille? Response. Réponse. Sing in Khmer, a uh, thing in English, S E A N G. En anglais, S E A N G. The, the president, Question. how old are you? Quel âge avez-vous? Response. Réponse. I am 63 years old. 63 ans. The president, uh, where Question. were you born? Où êtes-vous né? Response. Réponse. I was born in Ksatop, Chroi Banti, sub-district Prek Prasap, district, district Krache province. Question, so Kratia. where do you live and what is Question. your occupation currently? Que actuellement? Response. Réponse. Now I live in the same village uh, I was born, and uh, je suis né. I have been, I had been a school teacher, primary school teacher, but I am now a je pensioner. Suis à la retraite, uh, mais Question: uh, What is your father's name? Is he de votre père still alive, or père est -il is he vie ou décédé? Response. Réponse. My father is Sien Pon. He's deceased. Sien Pon, il est décédé. Question: What is your mother's Question, name? Quel est le nom de votre mère? Response. Réponse. My mother's name is Kat Yun. She is deceased. Et elle est décédée. Question, Mr. Van D, how many brothers Monsieur and sisters have you got? And could you please tell the court uh, the names of your siblings? Les noms de vos frères et sœurs. Response. Réponse. I have uh, nine siblings, six boys, three girls. I am the first sœurs. child. Number two, Siang Pat. Siang Pat. Three, Siang Pon. Siang Pon. Four, Siang Chon. Siang Chon. Five, Siang Yun. Siang Yun. Six, Siang Mao. Siang Seven, Mao. 
เสียงมีนนะเสียงมีนเอ็ดเสียงเตื้อเสียงเตื้อนายเสียงโคลดเอ็นเสียงเอเสียงโคลดมิตรวีสตูเซนสกี The president, uh, Ms. Uh, Silke Stutzinski, since you are now representing the civil party, could you please briefly tell the court uh, the identity, uh, the, the reason or the grounds for the claim for reparation in relation to the crimes alleged against the accused Kang Kyu alias Dut? The crimes uh, committed at S21 during the period from 1975 to the 6th of January 1979, and are the grounds to support such claims. You take the floor. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Um, Mr. Siang Van Dee um, is as follows. Related to the Et case before the trial, par, uh, Mr. Singh Van Di um, lost one, Duc. at least one la brother. It is Mr. Singh Don. Un frère, à savoir Monsieur Singh at S21. S21. He became later. That means recently. Et ce n'est que récemment uh, his brother was qu in S21, S21, était incarcéré that, à S21, uh, S21 uh, que ce frère avait versé des aveux then et qu'il avait ensuite été exécuté. Un autre Mr. frère de, de la partie uh, civile Mr. Siang Pat disappeared Siang Pat since then, but his fate is unknown. Jour, Mr. Siang Wendy will um, Siang Wendy focus on how his parler suffering de la manière, um, was and is, which means over 30 years concerning his brother Siang Pon to consider him as disappeared and to know, to have no knowledge about his fate. And um, this is the focus of the statement of this uh, civil party, Mr. Siang Van Di. The reasons for becoming a civil party is the Monsieur search for justice parce and uh, also for reparations. Fait, uh, Mr. Singh Van Di, uh, however, leaves um, the, um, the point of reparations to his lawyers. À ses avocats, pour ce qui est um, de la à another and further reason for becoming a civil party and applying here before this court is to preserve the memory of his civil, younger brother, Siang Pun. The statement of, the, of Mr. Siang Man Di will be supported by um, one document um, which is already on the case file. Un it is a confession civile, of uh, his brother Singh Pon, where we find uh, the English version was filed uh, yesterday, or was notified, uh, sorry, uh, was notified yesterday, um, and was uh, so far only in uh, summary versions on the case file. Um, and to make one remark, on the first page of this uh, confession from S21, we find a um, slight difference of the name. It is uh, written in English S-I-E-N-G and not like uh, the family name 
should be S E A N G. But uh, according to um, to uh, other um, unique facts, um, Mr. Siang Van Di could recognize that this confession uh, was made by his brother. Um, we will uh, decide later on to uh, refer to this document. I will give you the ERN uh, numbers. That is um, the ERN in Khmer is zero 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 four four five eight through zero 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 four four seven seven. And in English from yesterday, court document number E141.1 and the ERN 0036-3590 through uh, 0000 36 Then we will also refer to the color copies of the um, annotation um, on this first page, um, mainly in, on this confession. And, um, we will refer to the document then uh, with the um, uh, ERN 00173881 through uh, 882 in Khmer and in English 00221765. I would also like to uh, inform uh, the chamber and parties that uh, we intend to proceed um, as follows. Mr. Siang Wandi has prepared a statement um, that he will uh, read out, and um, then I will put some questions to him, and at the end he has uh, four questions uh, to put before the accused. And so I would like to give then the your leave uh, the floor to Mr. Siangwandi. The President, we would like to now give the floor to Mr. Siangwandi, the civil party, to make his statement. Monsieur Sengwendi, je vous en prie, veuillez the chamber, donner lecture de votre déclaration. Especially the facts in relation to the alleged crimes uh, les faits and the facts that uh, the accused Kang Kek Eo Elliot Doi uh, was charged uh, with and that uh, these facts have caused some kind of sufferings and that uh, you made the decision to join the civil party to seek uh, civil reparations. And uh, the chamber would like to hear also, especially the physical and the psychological uh, damages caused by these acts. Mr. Singwandi, thank you, Mr. President. Merci, I would Président. like to briefly tell the court the suffering of my Je family during the last 30 years and the crimes, and the suffering that my brothers endured. My family is um, family poor family, so we pauvre. earned uh, the living by chopping firewood uh, to burn the uh, charcoal qui, uh, uh, for making the end meat. At that time, during those regimes, my brother Siang Khon and I went to school. And I would like to tell the court about Allons the life story of my brother Sing Pon before he joined the revolution. Sing Pon was my second uh, brother who Pon was born in frère. the né year of horse. Du it was in 1953 en in Saktok Chiroi Bantiei Prasap. 
and the former regime, he could only finish the grade 8, the old educational system. And he lived with his uncle, Kyu Wood. My brother was a very gentle and honest était quelqu'un de très amen et de he très honnête. Was very obedient child. Était he un enfant loved très obéissant. Brother. He was very helpful in the family. Son frère aidait he énormément la famille. He was a very determined person. C'était aussi quelqu'un de très décidé. He was the uh, the strong bra brother who could could help uh, with the house chores. Another brother, Sien Pad, born in pour the year pour of the tâche, uh, rabbit, Pat, lui, which was uh, the first brother. Notre aîné. However, in 1971, en 1971, he was ordained as the monk il est in Andai village in the village hometown. Dans notre, uh, in 1972, en 1972, with the United Nation Front. Uh, under the leadership of then Prince Norodom Sihanouk, uh, and uh, he made the announcement uh, on the radio and to appeal an appel the radio people, his subjects, to go into the Maki jungle le to liberate uh, the country from Lonol. Pour libérer le pays de and Lonol. after the demonstrations, uh, in my area, in Et my hometown, it was called the Liberated Zone, captured and controlled by the Khmer Rouge. Et très vite, c'est devenu une zone prise et contrôlée par les Khmer Rouges, ce qu'on a appelé la zone libérée. I would like to go back a little bit to the 1970s after the coup d'état as a liberated zone, the place where we lived, and after the declaration or the appeal of the Prince Norodom Sihanouk, I joined the local militia in the village. Later on, in 1972, Plus tard, en 1972, Anka transferred me to the Anka photography unit. Envoyé dans une unité de photographie. In 1973, Anka. En put me to do farming in order to support uh, the unit. Unit. After the 17th of April 1975, the upper collected or gathered the cadres who won a fort in the north of Vietnam to go to qui retrouvé au nord Vietnam. And as a normal combatant, I was also requested uh, by Ang Khan and uh, moved to the fishing unit uh, at Sector 42 in Kampong Cham uh, province. Kham Pong Chang dans la and Kham I was Chang put to, de pêche. to uh, be tempered at that unit. Et là, été, uh, I would like to go back a little bit to when I joined uh, the army and to join the revolution. Before I departed, uh, my parents and my brothers and sisters did not me to leave them behind. Uh, but uh, my parents, Ma however, left me with some words that uh, he advised, parti, they advised me to conseil, be obedient, to show respect to the senior people, 
And uh, he, uh, they advised me supérieurs. to uh, be caring. And but my brothers and sisters, they came to me and uh, hugged sœurs. me, and they even wept. They did not want me to leave. Départ, car, uh, I told them that. I asked them to be nice to one another, Je especially to the second uh, brother. Because uh, mon frère en particulier. Pon and. Uh, and I asked them to please be Upon helpful with the house chores because uh, the parents uh, were Je lui ai getting older. D'aider à tenir la maisonnée parce que mes parents se faisaient vieux. They were saddened uh, to learn that I would be leaving soon. In 1973, Anka collected all the young combatants Lankar and uh, my father who was back then a monk was defrocked qui était moine à ce moment -là, and then uh, he was forced uh, to join the army a été including de my second brother too and uh, my parents frère, were left uh, alone to help uh, in the family, while the elder children already left uh, to join the army. Leurs enfants aînés qui avaient tous rejoint l'armée. In 1975, uh, when I came home, I forget actually the date. My father told me that the two brothers who joined the army on one occasion came to visit uh, the hometown and they told them about uh, their uh, being soldiers, but they did not tell them in which unit uh, they belonged to. But on the 7th of January 1979, some children the children of the villagers who one joined uh, the Khmer Rouge uh, revolution returned revolution home to be reunited uh, with their family. So gradually famille. people returning Donc, home, fois, les gens sont but rentrés, uh, the two brothers of mine mes, mes disappeared. Ne sont jamais réapparus. So that we were still expecting their return and we were very worried about their fate because during the Khmer Rouge regime we only heard about the arrest and the execution of the Khmer Rouge on entendait later on des arrestations et des exécutions in the early 1980s de personnes there was I'm a son of the villager came home and he used to be a soldier in the same unit avait été soldat dans la même unité He is now 61 years old, but he passed away already. Il he told us he saw the security people calling Siem Pat away, and he never returned. Pat. The president, mm. Pat Mr. Witness, uh, Witness, Mr. Mr. Sivapati, can you stop? The chamber um, needs a little bit of time for the IT units to